All right, so I want to revisit, uh, revisit a conversation we had earlier in the show about student loan forgiveness. I think it's the most elitist idea ever, but it's also dumb, right? Tinkering with this for political gain or as part of this free money society, it was already a huge mistake. When President Obama bragged about ditching the middleman in spring of 2009, he made all kinds of mistakes. Take a listen. In the end, this is not about growing the size of government or relying on the free market because it's not a free market when we have a student loan system that's rigged to reward private lenders without any risk. It's about whether we want to give tens of billions of tax dollars to special interests or whether we want to make college more affordable for eight and a half million more students. I think most of us would agree on what the right answer is. Well, private lenders took a lot of risk. That's why they didn't okay $100,000 for pot, uh, pottery and basket weaving. Nevertheless, it was big government that would assume all the risk. And here's what they really did. They were making billions of dollars. Uh, and at the same time, the Democrats, you know, it was a win-win. They were able to portray themselves in a her historic or heroic light for younger, uh, uh, younger folks going to college, bragging about ditching fees. You know, it's hard to, to really know just if this number is right. But kicking out the middleman was a big, big mistake. And initially, it made a lot of money. In fact, according to NPR, uh, they said $70.3 billion was made by the government in 2019. That was the year before the payments were halted for the pandemic. Now, I think the number sounds a little bit high, but even when President Obama got rid of those dastardly bankers, it was estimated that government would take in over $100 billion in 25 years. But now take a look at this, folks. It's going to cost $197 billion, and that's before the Supreme Court decision. The bottom line Getting rid of due diligence, risk analysis that the private sector would have done and was doing has resulted in much higher tuitions and now $1.6 trillion in loans that could soon fall into the laps of everyone. I'm talking about people that never went to college or people that already paid off their college loans. So beyond forgiveness, the scheme to forgive loans on a taxpayer dime, it only is going to mean higher tuition for everyone, folks. Liz Clayman, I just, I just hope that doesn't happen. 